It's round two of the group stage in the 2022 Rugby League World Cup. And just how are the Kangaroos going to fare against the Scottish Bravehearts after their impressive win against Fiji? Now, Mal Meninga, as he said he would, has made a raft of changes to the squad as he looks to rotate in key positions. Obviously, we've got Nathan Cleary, Isaiah Yo, Liam Martin, all from the Premiers. We've got Lindsay Collins and Matt Burton also making their debuts. And perhaps the most important debut, or at least the most newsworthy, is that of Campbell Graham, who was selected by Meninga for the Kangaroos after already expressing his interest in playing for Scotland. Now, the Kangaroos were pretty sensational against Fiji. I mean, they were a little bit slow out of the box defensively, but once they got started, they were impossible to stop. And you'd imagine they'll play like a team with nothing to lose, despite the fact that they'll be without Daly Cherry Evans, Latrell Mitchell, and a few others, thanks to Meninga's rotation policy. Uh, before the tournament, Fiji were probably considered the second strongest team in the group, and the Kangaroos made absolutely light work of them. Is there a chance for an upset uh, with Scotland? Absolutely not. The Scots were absolutely appalling against Italy. They showed plenty of weakness, a real lack of cohesion, and a number of defensive liabilities as well. They were exploited repeatedly out on the edges, and you would imagine the likes of Burton and Josh Adokar will make an absolute meal out of them. I can't see Scotland standing a chance of uh, putting up any resistance to an Australian onslaught in this one. And yeah, it's almost impossible to see any other kind of result than a convincing Kangaroos win in this one. And ultimately, this is a slight problem with the World Cup at the rugby league level, but obviously these developing nations still need to improve. They need this kind of experience and exposure to help them on their own development. So this is still an important game. The Scots were terrible against Italy and another heavy defeat is likely to all but ruin their chances of progressing to the next stage. But it's a great opportunity for Meninga to rotate his squad and give more playing opportunities to the rest of the group and ensure that everyone in that Kangaroos squad has had playing time and plenty of exposure to the game prior to the all-important knockout stages, which seems to be the next test that will present itself for the Kangaroos. In terms of this one, though, expect Australia to rack up a huge score, and Scotland are going to have a hard time even crossing the line once.